Welcome to the Unit 1 orientation video. So a lot of the units are a similar template, um, but this is the first one you're accessing for the content. And so we're going to spend a little more time looking at the different components uh, than we will in the others. Um, in the others, we'll try to focus more on what's different and what might be specific to that one. So. Uh, What's this one about? So we're basically at the beginning phases of any statistical experiment, and we want to talk about uh, experimental design and sampling. So how are we going to get the data? And uh, that's what we focused on. Um, the first component in all the units is a purpose statement, and uh, you should make sure that you start by reading that. So read through the purpose statement, um, and then of course you would watch the orientation video. Next you have the learning objectives. So learning objectives are mandated by the Virginia Community College system. So every community college should use these same learning objectives for a Math 245 course. And this is what I use to uh, decide what assignments and what things should be in the exams and that kind of thing. So I don't really put in the wording of those specifically, I use this to outline the course and I feel like you should have that information too. Uh, next up we have vocabulary notation and formulas. So here we have definitions of vocabulary words that are important. We have notation for special symbols, and there's a lot of that in stati statistics. And we have uh, formulas, either you know formulas you would calculate on a calculator, and also Excel formulas, because that's our main technology tool. So uh, I try to make these as concise as they can. Uh, in a way, this is like a Cliff Notes or a kind of cheat sheet for what's in the book. It's a great reference, um, but it shouldn't go in place of the book. You should make sure you kind of read this uh, whenever you have a quick question. Um, but still make sure that you do read the book. Okay, so if you see any problems with these, let me know. This is uh, something I just wrote up recently. All right, so after you read through that, then you get to the reading assignment for the book. Uh, now these are links to the online version of the book, right? So you go here and it opens up the online version of the book. It's nice to sometimes hit this and open up the table of contents, so you can skip around from chapter to chapter, section to section. Um, and then you have a really nice ebook with pictures, objectives, and you just get next to go page to page. And you might get to uh, certain problems. So you get to a problem like this and you can actually answer it and then see if your solution is right by hitting show solution. So uh, there's some nice ways to kind of test your knowledge built into this. Um, those aren't required, they don't affect your grade, but it's a great way to actually learn what's going on. Um, then it's up to you to know when to stop, right? So you have a link here of where to start. Um, you remember on this problem it says read chapter one. So that means I need to keep track of where I am and I need to read through all of chapter one. So that can be kind of long. Uh, you might want to break it up into groups. Uh, you could do a little bit of reading and then try doing some of the practice problems and then bounce back when you feel the need. All right, so uh, now if you downloaded the PDF, there's a download for that in course information. You can get the whole PDF of the whole book. You can just go to chapter one and read that. If you actually have a print copy of it, you can order those for pretty cheap and there's one in the library. Then go ahead and read through chapter one in your print copy. After the reading, we're gonna have videos and there's two types of videos. Um, there's ones that I've created and those will usually be titled by whatever process or concept is covered. And then there's some that just refer to a specific chapter, and those are videos created by the authors of the textbook we're using. And I recommend using both videos. Uh, the thing to keep in mind with the textbook and the author's videos is that they will refer a lot to calculator directions with the TI-83 and 84. And we're trying not to use that calculator or be dependent on it in this class. So make sure you're doing everything with Excel um, and then just using the calculator as a supplement, if at all. Um, you can just ignore the calculator instructions. Um, my videos will always just be using Excel to show you how to do things. Um, you can click on these as links and open up in YouTube and you can watch it in YouTube. You can also just click the little plus and watch it as an embedded video right in the site without having to pop out to a new tab. All right, so make sure you watch through the videos. Then there might be some documents. So I might have um, a list of methodologies or a special list of formulas, things like that. It's just to supplement what's already been done, um, kind of along the lines of the vocabulary. Um, so I have a document here for different sampling techniques. 
So uh, just make sure you check those out and see when they might be useful. Each unit has its own question forum, and so if you have questions about anything in this unit, uh, assignments, how to do them, things like that, that goes in here. You can just click in there and you can ask a question. You can post anonymously. Um, there's also links from every practice problem to go directly to there. So let's see how that works as we get to our practice assignment. So um, that's all information. Now we get into the actual assignments. There's typically three assignments for a unit. The practice problems is the first. So we click on practice to get in here. And you notice this looks a lot like the um, entering answers in OM type assignment, same format there. right? And so we have these problems here and click on them. Uh, they're meant to be done in order from top to bottom and uh, you should know how to enter your answers. Uh, a lot of times you might have a video, so if you unsure you can check the video, but try to get them without the video if you can. Um, if you do use the video, try to re-attempt the problem and make sure you can get it without the video. You also have multiple attempts on these. Again, if you get it right on the third attempt, try to redo the problem and get it right on the first attempt. If you are stuck, you can post this question to the forum by clicking on the link, post this question to forum. And that'll go into the questions about Unit 1 forum that I just mentioned. All right, uh, once you've answered through all those problems, you are set for the next assignment. And next, after the practice, is the critical thinking. So this is a written assignment, but it's done in a forum the way we did our autobiographies and the way we did the um, using the equation editor assignments. So. Uh, we have the questions here as well as the minimum number of sentences for, to require to answer these. You can always exceed those minimums, but uh, to get full credit you do need to hit those minimums uh, with legitimate writing in your initial post. So you click in here to do this. Uh, it won't let you view other people's posts until you add your new thread. You will have all the questions here, so you can actually copy and paste these questions in and then just type your answers afterwards. Um, and don't forget you have access to, uh, you know, putting in hyperlinks, putting in attachments, putting in videos and pictures, and putting in special equation editor math stuff. Um, so feel free to use that. Also tables. Feel free to use that stuff as you see fit. Um, there are some, definitely some parts of these that require you to put in links or pictures. Um, you also have bullets. Sometimes I ask you to do bullets. Um, so feel free to use bullets for those problems. Uh, so you have to do your best to answer these based on the information that's been provided, as well as thinking about these. Sometimes they're not directly from the reading of videos. It requires you to think about them. And I expect everybody to put forth a good effort on their first post um, and meet the minimum requirement uh, by posting stuff. And make sure it's in your own words. If you use an outside source, make sure you cite it. And if you are taking it exactly, make sure you keep that to a minimum and quote it as you would in any class, right? You don't want to take other people's work and pass it off as your own. Now, after you post, you will be able to view other people's posts for this assignment, including I have a post. Uh, so read through other people's posts, read through my post, and that should answer all the questions you have. Um, if it doesn't, then um, you know, post again uh, in the questions about unit one folder or something like that. Sorry, questions about unit one forum uh, to let us try to help you further. Um, and then you can post a reply. So after you've done this, you can, of course, uh, click on your post and then do a reply. And you put a reply with any corrections that you might have. Uh, again, make sure that this is all in your own words. So I expect everybody to be able to in their reply at least, find all the correct answers and, and get the correct answers to these problems. Um, and that will be the critical thinking format. All right, the last type of assignment that we're going to typically have is the project. So we have a multi-part project um, that goes throughout the course. And in the first part, we're going to be finding some data and doing some analysis of how the data was collected. Um, now the project assignment is just a file upload. So you're actually going to be working on an Excel spreadsheet, and you'll just be uploading your spreadsheet. Everything should be included in that. So you hit Choose File, and then you find your spreadsheet, and then you hit Open, and then you submit it. Or something similar, depending on if you're using a Mac or Windows. But uh, you want to make sure you submit. Uh, 
your file as a .xls or .xlsx document. Now, there is one last thing on Unit 1, and that's a practice self-assessment. So uh, it, the class makes use of this process called assessment where we provide feedback to ourselves or to others in the class, and we do it in a very special way where we uh, think positively and think about improving in future performances. And there's a special format for this, and that is where you always start by providing a strength, then you provide a way you can improve in the future, and then you provide an insight, something that you learned. Um, with the improvement, you not only want to say a way you can improve, but give a plan for how you would actually do that improvement. So you can copy this and paste in and put in your strength improvement plan and insight. This should be completed after all the other assignments in the unit are completed. Um, I'll give you feedback on your self-assessment to show that you are following the correct format and mindset and then you can proceed. And there's some other self, uh, assessments in the class. We'll be doing peer assessments uh, where you'll assess other students, and we'll be doing a uh, midterm assessment where you assess me and the course overall. So uh, hopefully you appreciate how this uh, format of giving feedback is very helpful and uh, apply it in other areas in your life. All right, so that about covers what we have co included in Unit 1. And... I will let you work in the first couple weeks on that and then move on to Unit 2 and there will be a video for the orientation for Unit 2.